I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 9 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on IP addresses. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on how to set your IP address. We're going to show you two different ways to do that. We're going to show you how to set a static IP and how to enable DHCP. So let's go ahead and hop in. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set an IP address for your server. This is going to be a pretty easy video, if not one of the easiest videos to follow in this series. It's very straightforward, so follow the steps we're going to go through today and you'll have no issue. There's going to be two ways that we're going to show you how to set an IP address. First way is that we're going to show you how to set a static IP address. And the second way, we're going to show you how to enable DHCP so we can have an automatic IP address assignment. So first, we're going to go ahead and start out with a static IP address. The first thing we're going to want to do is boot up our server and once we're prompted in post we want to go ahead and press F9 so we can enter system utilities. Once we're in system utilities we want to select system configuration. Inside of system configuration you'll have a few options to choose from. So specifically in this video I'm going to set a static IP address for our ILO. But if you wanted to set one for one of the network ports on your network card, you can do it from this same screen right here. As you can see, there is an ILO configuration utility. This is the one we're going to select. But if you wanted to set an IP address for one of your network ports, you would just pick one of these embedded LOM ports. Just pick the port that you have connected to the network um, and then set your IP address settings through there. Um, but like I said, we're going to do it for the ILO, so we're going to go ahead and click on this ILO configuration utility option. And once inside this screen, we want to click on network options. And then once we're in network options, we want to go to this option that says DHCP enable. We want to set that to off. And then as you can see, the options below, they're no longer grayed out, so we can go ahead and actually set our IP information. One thing I'd like to say to be careful with when setting your IP address is make sure that you do not use an IP address that's already being used by another device. That'll give us an IP conflict and we'll run into issues, and this device may not be able to reach out to the internet. When setting your IP address, you want to go ahead and use the same subnet that the other devices in the network are using. That subnet for us is going to be 172.16.50. And then that last number is going to be an identifier for the device. So this can be really whatever you want it to be as long as it's not matching another device. For your subnet mask, this is generally going to be 255, 255, 2550, but sometimes this can be different. If you don't know what you need it to be, go ahead and check another device that's in your network. Um, if it has the same subnet, go ahead and just use that same subnet. And the same will go for the gateway IP address. This gateway IP address is going to be the IP address of the router for that network. Generally, the gateway will end in a 1, but if you're ever unsure of what this device will be, go ahead and check the settings from another device in your network, and then you can just go ahead and copy that. Once we've verified that everything looks correct and that it is good to go, we just want to go ahead and back out, and it is going to ask us if we want to save our changes, and to do so, we just need to press Y on our keyboard. Once we do this, we will get a message that says that the ILO needs to be reset, and then after that, we will get another message saying that it'll be about 30 minutes or so for the ILO to completely reset. So we're just going to wait that out. Now we can just go ahead and back out of all of those screens and go back to the root screen of system utilities. And then we can just scroll down to the reboot the system option. And it's as simple as that. That is how we set a static IP address. Now I'm going to show you how to assign an IP address via DHCP. Setting up DHCP is going to be very, very similar to setting a static IP address. If not, almost exactly the same, just minus a step. The first thing we want to do is boot up our server, and during post, we want to press F9 so we can enter into System Utilities. Inside of System Utilities, we want to click on the System Configuration option. 
And inside of system configuration, we want to go to the ILO configuration utility. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you wanted to set an IP address on one of the network ports of your network card, you can do so by going to one of the embedded LOM options and enabling DHCP on there as well. But we're gonna do it for the ILO. So go to the ILO configuration utility. And then once we're in the ILO configuration utility screen, we want to click on network options. And then we wanna scroll down to DHCP enable. And then we want to set this to on. And it's as simple as that. What this is going to do is it's going to automatically pull all of the IP information from a DHCP server within the network. Most of the time, that's just gonna be the router. It's gonna be embedded in the router. But it's basically gonna automatically assign the IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway. This is definitely a very easy way to give your device internet access. And the beauty with DHCP is that since things are automatically being assigned to devices, there are no IP conflicts. Once an IP address is used, it can no longer be pulled out of the IP pool. Therefore, no IP address will be used twice. And just like before, we can go ahead and save our changes and the ILO will go ahead and reset. So we're just gonna keep backing out until we get to the system utility screen and then we're gonna scroll down and press this button so we can go ahead and reboot our server. And there we have it. That is how we assign an IP address via DHCP. As you can see, it's a little bit easier than setting a static IP address, but both are very, very easy. If you found this video useful, go ahead and click that like button. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. If you're interested in purchasing any HP servers, we have plenty in stock. Go ahead and shoot us an email at sales at cloudninjas.com. That is sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.